Uh, oh, a couple more weeks and goes down. But well, first, big bro, big bro, December 9th. Kyle Crutchman. Where are you fighting at? Fury, Houston, Houston, Texas. What's the day for your fight? December 18th, Sunday. Is your first time fighting for Fury? Yep, first time. So, see how that goes. I'm excited. Excited? Something new, so we'll uh, see how it goes. It's gonna go well though. We know how it's gonna go. He kicks, I grab his middle kick the correct way, then he escapes. Grab him good. You're not just carrying the leg. You grab him all the way. You gotta secure the leg. Then he escapes from there. Either you escape. Opening his elbow, either you pull out the way we pull down in, uh, in wrestling. You escape, you know. You secure correctly, he escapes correctly. Then we get back to back. For three minutes, middle kick only, left and right. Get ready. Let's go. Yeah, so sec secure all the way up, okay? So you leave some space right here, don't leave no space. You gotta go all the way, like, face up. I like that. I like that. What are you guys looking at today, Coach? Uh, grabbing kicks, moving, defense. Defense first, always defense. Another one was that Brent, the Brendan Lochne or whatever, the dude who didn't get signed off the tennis series. Now he won a million dollars. Everything happens for a reason. That's the dude Connor co-signed, right? That's the dude Connor co-signed. Um, but I'm not, I'm not co-signing Connor or him. I'm no, just no, no. saying. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just saying. It's funny how those things work. You know, everyone was complaining. They, I saw people call him like the ugly duckling of the contender series, and now he. Uh, Won a million dollars in another organization. And I think made like the finals before. Like he's making a lot of money in PFL. He's good. He do can fight. He beat bu my boy Bubba J, who has always seemed like he's just kind of one step away from, you know, the, the big paycheck, million dollars too. But, you know, he's a wrestling guy. He's a guy I used to look up to when I, uh, when I was a wrestler. So. I was definitely cheering for Bubba, but I guess I'm happy for whoever wins a million dollars. It's a big payday, man. So tell us about your fight coming up. Um, December 17th, fighting Julian Marquez, a fellow Kansas City native. Um, I've known him for a long time. It's kind of weird because I've known him since, shit, we were probably 15 years old. We used to hang out back in the day. Um, but uh, I think it's a good fight for me to win. I need to get back on track and, and uh, make some money right before Christmas and be Santa Claus. You know what I'm saying? So you know this dude, so it's not like there's any animosity or anything like that. But this is more business than anything. I mean, I wouldn't call it business, um, but I wouldn't make it as personal as it may seem. Maybe to somebody else, you know? I'm not really worried about the dude, but yeah, I, you know, I think I need to kind of remind him who I am. You know, I feel like sometimes people can get some success, and it goes to their head, and it kind of, you know, <laughs> makes them forget of who they who they might really be. Um, and uh, I think it's just time for me to remind him real quick. So no hard feelings. You huh? both grew up in Kansas City. Yeah. Is this your actual first time fighting the guy, or have you fought him in the past? No, this is my first time fighting him. Yeah, for sure. But like, he was a wrestler, so he hung out with a bunch of dudes I hung out with. And, uh, you know, I just saw him around, maybe in the restroom room a little bit. And then uh, as I got older, <clears throat> when I come back from college shit, he'd like, he worked uh, security at like the clubs and stuff. It's called PL, And he'd always like get me and make sure I was on the list and shit like that. So like we were pretty cool, but I kind of heard some shit he had said about me, but you know, I don't want to say too much. I always the joy funny way back to San Jose, California. It's a lot warmer. It's a lot nicer. It started getting cold in Massachusetts. It's time for me to head out. <laughs>
You got something coming up? Yeah, January 7th. I'm uh, defending my lightweight title at Cage Titans. I'm looking forward to it. Back down to my, my home, my weight class. Um, make another statement for the UFC. Have you heard back from them? They want to see me make 55. They want to see me fight a good guy. So that's what I'm trying to do. Say hello, hello, Brian, hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stay back and hang up your left side. I'm not having him come at you with wrestling. He ain't doing none of that. You need to learn how to defend against that too because you're out striking him. So I'm going to tell him. No, very good. You could really good. But he's not wrestling. I want him coming yeah, at yeah. his best. If he's not coming at his best, he's going to outstrike him. You're entering their game. You're going to have strike you know, you don't gotta finish every face now. Yeah. You have to call the bring it down, but if you time it well, you will be able to take it down. Yeah, yeah. Right? But you gotta drive. You have to drive. Miss. Not a single. You would have to drive through. You're right? striking with him, and he's out striking. Yeah. So why are you striking with yeah. him? Yeah. Mix it up. If you're not gonna mix it up, you're, you're gonna fight a good three-round, exciting type fight that you're gonna come at the short end of the right. stick or change it up. He knows you're going to come wrestle him and make it work. What up, what up? World class ass whoopings going around out here today. Who's going today? Right now we got Pitch and Mark. Very nice. Two of the top 125ers oh, wow. oh, like coming up, in my opinion. Oh, oh. See them both in the UFC. Oh, I think next we got Crutch and Joe Giannetti. Hey, what you got now? Both coming up. Crutchmer's got a big Bellator fight. Uh, and Duran and Andrew Sanchez. Duran's got a UFC there, fight coming up. Nothing. Andrew Sanchez. I think he's a free agent, so any big promotion, you should take this man up. Uh, just high level work all around. It's, it's unbelievable to come watch, pick up on things. Can't, can't beat it. Good. You have to learn how to, how to fight out of those scrambles and get out like you did. Because if he's just standing with you, it does to give you the yeah, kind yeah. of work you need. Sure. And, sure. And that right there made that round much closer. See, that round was much closer. Yeah. So that was a debatable round, per se. Some people might say him, so say my you, and la, la, la. But the others were clear cut who was the winner. Yeah, for sure. This one was more challenging. And not only. Was it good for him? It's good for you, because yeah. for him, he's got to learn how to be able to stand with a guy that can wrestle. Yeah. You can't just stand with a, 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 an individual that can wrestle like you and not think the guy ain't gonna wrestle. He's gonna wrestle. So, what you did at the end was very good for you and him. It makes you better because he gets better at scrambling. You get better at punching to the takedown and, and imposing your will on the takedown. So, all, all the way around. Third round is what I like to see. First two rounds, if you were only focusing on stand-up, fantastic. Okay, fantastic. But if you're getting close to a fight, he's getting close yeah. to a fight, you guys should be focusing more on what you're gonna be fighting. Right. On this particular, where you're at right now. So that that was good, both of you guys, I liked it. Uh, Except the burp. Uh, I don't know about that burp. Yeah, disgusting. Uh, that's yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah, it's pretty disgusting there. Like we just found. Good? Yeah. Nice. So at least try to get there, yeah, and then you wrestle or not, but get in there and try to control that space. Because that's your window. Yeah, there, there. There. Keep him here, keep him here, keep him here, keep him here. That's it. Beautiful.
Break him down. What's up, baby? How you feeling? Feel good, man. Fight next week. My weight's good. Shape's great. Um, coach has got me dialed in, man. Ready to represent AK again and keep this momentum we got going. <clears throat> Overall, how's your camp been going? It's been good, man. I'm just getting better. You know, I got great teammates. I got great coaches. Everybody's, you know, putting putting some food on my plate and trying to help me out a little bit with techniques and you know it's it's great man we have a good thing here so it's kind of hard to complain just trying to get to my fiber yeah no i feel you so make sure i have someone that is professional yeah no you felt good you stayed away from danger and yeah. put me on my ass <laughs> good job man thank you oh this coach would be inspiring oh he whooped my ass i think he only 10 me the last round though so that's like a little win <laughs> But yeah, no, it was good. I'm excited to watch him fight next week. Uh, I'm excited to be here for five weeks and training with guys like that. My fight's not going to be any harder, for sure. Who you sparring? Uh, two rounds with Andrew and one with Tony. Char no, Tony Johnson. Front side step, bring him over. Elevate that underhook. Ten seconds. Time. You gotta get back to that beat. Stay nice and relaxed. Jeremy, I think uh, maybe he needs a. Is it open? You need anything, Nick? No, I'm good, thanks. That feels good. Put it all together. Yeah. He can be better, but I'll take a win over Andrew Sanchez. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Third round, man. Right? Yeah. Way too close. That's good, right? No. It's yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 I know, but I'm like. My punch range, man. I know. But I want to, like. Unless the, especially, it's like. I think about, like, I lost that fight against Darren Stewart. It was a split. Uh -huh. But, like, he was backing me up in the third. Mm -hmm. As opposed to me walking him down. So that's kind of yeah. why I'm not like, trying to walk you down. Like. But. Yeah. I'd I mean, your pressure is one thing, but you're kind of you're tired of staying, like, at the end yeah. of the Yeah. No, for sure. sure. You know? No, I get it. When you when you're faking this shit, it's a nightmare. Really? You, you okay. have to, Cause like I have to reach on you, so I I can hit you when you can hit me. But yeah, if you faint, like it makes me question and yeah. And if you can make me go first, that's another thing. Like if you, you faint and I try and counter, and all of a sudden you're I'm, yeah, I'm not out of position. You can meet me. And yeah. Close the distance. You know? Yeah. Because if you can go first, or sorry, if you can make me go first and you go last, you know, mm -hmm. so you can faint or like yeah. punch out of range and then. And then I go, you go first and then your real go. Yeah, you go first and third. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can make me bite on a faint or yeah or whatever, I'm gonna be out of position and you're gonna, you're gonna be able to get inside. You know? Yeah, I'm like I'm 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 happy with my effort with big gloves on with the grappling sense. Like yeah, you know, and I know it, it's it's easier to get up with small gloves on too, but it's like I can extend the wrestling a little bit more when I have the small goes on, I can grab you where I want to grab you and shit, you know what I mean? It's even like on that lat, like maybe there's a third I had you against the cage and like you kind of turn and I went to go reach for the other leg, but I can't slip my yeah, hand in there. Go. There's no gripping. There's no, nothing, nothing, yeah. It's all right, let's it's keep good, pushing, bro. Well, uh, uh, but and, and sometimes like I'm getting away, I'm getting away, and you know I'm getting away. And yeah. You won't punch, like. Yeah, I don't you, know. You, you gotta fucking. 
Just like land a couple hard ones just, on the way up, the, right? You know he's getting away and just yeah. like fuck it. Pop, pop, and you can shoot again if you want or just punch, but like like I'll 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 turn and face you like expecting punches and nothing comes. Yeah. I'm like, oh and I'll just start working. Like, yeah. It's the free shot, so Yeah. Gotta I gotta throw something when you come up. Yeah, you got to. Maybe All right. okay. All right. It's like you know when the guy's gonna get up. You know? Yeah. So you can like in your mind be okay, fuck it, I'm and let go first and then pop pop. Yeah. Punch. So just squeezing and waste energy. Yeah. But for sure. Good. Thanks, man. That was good. I wanted to push the wrestling more. I'll push the wrestling more the next two weeks. It's just hard to fucking wrestle hard for six it's weeks, hard, bro. bro. You know what I mean? At 33.